What's going on everybody? I am back with another video. Um, we are doing a system proficiency video. This is going to be the second episode in this series. And what I am doing in this series is seeing which system I can most effectively build a team around. Um, in our first episode, I did the pace and space uh, system and we did very, very, very well. We had 63 wins in the regular season. We went 16 and 5 in the playoffs and we did win a championship. So... That's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and beat those records in a different uh, system. And what we're going to do in this episode is balanced. So that's the kind of team I'm going to build this team around. Let's get uh, into drafting a team. Um, again, in our first video, we did randomly draft a team. We randomly picked a team. We ended up on the Pistons, which I was very happy about because Pistons are my favorite team. Uh, me being from Michigan. But I will stop in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we almost had the Pistons again. Imagine, imagine. But we do end up with the Rockets. We are going to um, do a draft. And let's see where we got our pick. Okay, so we have our pick in the middle of the pack. We do have Pascal Siakam available. We have Westbrook available. And we have Clay Thompson available. I wouldn't be too upset with any of them. So I'm just going to automate the draft. And we're going to see what the team's looking like after the draft. Let's switch the system proficiency type. Man, seven seconds. This would have been a great team. Uh, but we are going to do balance. We're going to make active. So this is basically what I go to to see. Kemba Walker, Donovan Mitchell, Darren Collison, and Dylan Brooks are all really good. Kemba five star and Donovan Mitchell four and a half star. So they might be safe. Odds are uh, Donovan Mitchell is definitely going to be safe. Kemba Walker, you know, if I could flip for like a Kyrie or something. Obviously, I tried because Kyrie is also a five star, but Kemba being a five star, we might just have to stick with him. I don't really know exactly who I want to go for. DeJounte Murray is always a good guy. He's not too difficult to trade for, and he is four and a half stars, so I'm already eyeing him. I'm going to actually mark him down. I got my list over here of all players. For shooting guards, we do have Donovan Mitchell, so... I might just get a guy like Derek White or Evan Forney to come off the bench who are four stars in the system. For small forwards, small forwards might be hard. That might be where I have to get a star. You know, I mean, like a guy like Chris Middleton even. He's a four and a half star in the system. There's a Tobias Harris. He's a four and a half star in the system. As far as power forwards go, John Collins is three and a half. Brandon Clark's three and a half. Draymond Green's three and a half. For four stars, we have Pascal and Jason Tatum. And then you guys got guys like Paul Millsap, Giannis, and AD. Giannis and AD are going to be almost impossible to trade for. Well, actually impossible to trade for. So we won't be able to get them. And then we do have Dwight Howard at center. And wait, was he good and balanced? I forget. So no, he was not safe. So we do have to get an entire new front court. Man. All right. So I'll be back when I find someone I want to trade for. All right, so Bam Adebayo is a four-star in this system, and he's on the Magic, who are in rebuild mode. So I am going to try and trade for Bam Adebayo. Okay, so we gave them, um, we gave them Dylan Brooks, Lucas Semanic, a first-round pick, and three second-round picks. I'm very okay with that trade. Bam Adebayo fits. Um, he's actually one of the best centers, um, probably the only center that I'd be able to get because Jokic is a four and a half star, Cat is a four star, almost impossible to trade for them. Let's get this player system back up, and I forget who the other guy was, but the other guy was definitely not starting on this team. So let's look at system proficiency, we are up to three and a half stars, bam, that's about as close as we're going to get at center. As far as power forwards go, again, power forward, I don't think is the spot we're going to be able to get. So we are going to look at, I'm going to look at my small forward right now because that's something we're going to, we're going to have to do. We're, we have to figure out our small forward right now because there's no power forwards that fit the system super, super well besides Giannis and Anthony Davis. So I'm, so the three guys I'm looking at are Chris Middleton, Jimmy Butler, and Tobias Harris. They're all four and a half stars in this system. I feel like Chris Milton is going to be the easiest. Uh, Tobias would probably be the easiest to trade for. They think they're title contenders, so it's going to be hard to trade for Chris Middleton. So we are going to have to go with Tobias Harris for now. Maybe I'll trade for uh, Chris Milton later. Okay. So 
that trade was looking like Tobias Harris for Biombo, Collison, a first round and two second round picks. Um, let me go to system proficiency. We are still at three and a half stars. We have to figure out my, the power for to get it up to a four star. So I will look for uh, Pascal Siakam real fast. See if there's any possibility of us trading for him. He is on the Suns. So let's go to team Intel and go to the Suns. They're in rebuild, so we might be able to trade for them. I don't know if we have the pieces right now. All right, we are actually just going to trade finder some of these guys. I'm feeling Petty Mills because I can easily make him shooting guard, and he at least goes up to 78, I know. So I'm going to do this trade, Petty Mills and Cabaret or whatever for Trey Burke and Chris Clemens. Now let's see what we can get for Trey Burke. All right, I love this trade. We're going to flip uh, Trey Burke and Darius Baisley for Jer <laughs> JaVale McGee. So we're going to see what we can get for JaVale, Eric Gordon, and a first. All right, so I might be giving up a lot for this, but I'm trading Eric Gordon, Carson Edwards, and two firsts for Lou Will and Derek White. Okay, so actually, if you make Lou Will a shooting guard, he is a four-star in this system. So I might have to trade Derek White because Lou Will off the bench would be very nice. Again, I'm still looking at DeJounte Murray. So if I got DeJounte Murray, I wouldn't be mad with getting rid of Derek White and keeping Lou Will. That's actually, I think, the move. I think I'll try and flip Derek White for DeJounte Murray. So it was impossible to get DeJounte Murray still with the pieces that I have. So I'm going to flip Chris Clemens for Chris Boucher. Just get better uh, assets and then hopefully flip them later. So I'm going to make this trade because 2K in the game wants to put Carmelo at a power forward. And if you make him a small forward, he goes up to an 80, I think. Yeah, so that's just amazing and better trade value. So now we are getting a very good draft pick from the Atlanta Hawks and Royce O'Neal. And we are going to get a second round pick for Royce O'Neal. And now we're going to make this trade for J.J. Barea. We're just improving the team slowly by slowly. So I didn't really like any of these, but Dallas Mavericks are at least giving us a first round pick. All right, so in this trade, we are getting Andre Roberson in a first. Um, for Carson Edwards in a first. And Andre Roberson... If you know, you know. You make him a small forward, and he becomes amazing. So we're going to do that trade for P.J. Tucker in a second, because I think if you make P.J. Tucker a small forward, he goes to like an 81. I'm not 100% sure. He does, so we're good. That was a smart trade. Trust me. All right, we are upgrading to Pat Bev in a second. This might be an L, but I'm trading Pat Bev in a second for a first and Javante Green. Hello? Why is 2K blurry? Alright, so I have no idea what happened. But we're back. I don't remember if this is what the team was looking like or if we made another trade. Um, da -da -da, trade finder. Alright, so we have five first round picks. So, we still need all the backup positions. DeJounte Murray is still a guy that I want. Um... So let's find DeJounte Murray again and try and get him again. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of Derek White. We don't need Derek White anymore. And let's give him. Oh my gosh. Really? I swear. If I have to do. We're not doing both of those. Holy crap. We're not doing both of those. There we go. We finally did it. We got him. We got him, boys. So we still need a power forward and pa oh, shoot we should have gotten Pascal Siakam what am I doing I mean we got good depth now okay so we're gonna trade for him we're gonna give them Dwight Howard we're gonna give them JaVale McGee we're gonna give them this pick we're gonna give them that pick we're gonna give them that pick we're gonna give them four first round picks and we did it we did it folks we got Pascal Siakam on the team why do I always do that he was the only four-star player that we were going to be able to get who plays power forward. So we kind of need to get him. So we need backup big men. So backup big men, we can do like a John Collins. Now that I'm thinking about it, we could upgrade Donovan Mitchell into Jalen Brown. But Jalen Brown is a bag, right? Is he getting paid yet? I don't know. Let's just work on the backup positions. Let's work on getting John Collins on the team. Okay, we're going to trade him for Dwight Powell. Um, yeah, Dwight can move to power forward and probably go up a lot. Oh my gosh. 
Now that I know that, bro. Can I trade him for with a second? Man, Dwight. Dwight Powell has some good trade value. I was originally thinking of trading for Dennis Schroeder and then trading Lou Will. But JaVale McGee just has so much trade value. But Dennis Schroeder is a shooting guard. I'm I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Now we can get some guys with Lou Will, but I'm gonna go for Jamal Murray. And I'm gonna make him a shooting guard because he is a four star in the system proficiency. And I want to see if he goes up even more. Because um, someone else went up. So he doesn't go up. So DeJounte, or if he's a shooting guard. Oh man, Jamal Murray can come off the bench now. Jamal Murray can come off the bench and Dennis Schroeder can get out of here. So I'm going to make this trade for Steven Adams. Because if he goes to power forward, his overall should go up a lot. And I don't think he succeeds that well in this system. Okay, so we're getting really good trades. CJ McCollum is four and a half star in this system. So he might be the guy. Gordon Hayward is four star off the bench and a first. Okay, he might be the guy. Derek Favors, he succeeds in the system too. Nah, Gordon Hayward, he can play our backup small forward role. Coach game plan, fix that, system proficiency. And now we have our backup small forward and Gordon Hayward, and he goes up in overall in the system. I'm assuming it's because of the system. So now we need our big backup big man, which would be John Collins. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We have 11 players, so I'm gonna assign some free agents real fast. So now we're going to trade Finder, the people that we just picked up in free agency. San Antonio is given a first and a second, so that's definitely the play right now. All right. First round pick from the Bucks. I am definitely liking that. All right. So I'm definitely liking this trade the most. So we can get a first from Minnesota for Marcin Gortat. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So... We have four first round picks again, so I think we can get John Collins now. We're gonna trade for him. He's not making a lot of money, so we gotta fit that. We get we can't trade him. Derek Jones, there we go. I always try it just in case. Let's do two firsts. Let's do three firsts. There you go. System proficiency, still four star. We're not gonna do anything better than that, but now we are chilling, bro. We are chilling now that we have John Collins. We have nine players, so we might just be able to run this. Oh, yeah, because Tobias Harris plays backup power forward, too. So we might just be able to run with this lineup now. We might be done. All right, so I may have just made a stupid trade, but I traded for Jalen Brown. I gave them Diamond Mitchell two firsts and a second. Um... You'll see in a second why I did that. Jamal Murray, you're not starting over Jalen Brown. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're better. In my opinion, you're not. But system proficiency-wise, Jalen Brown is a five-star. So now we have two five-stars in this system. Jalen Brown is one of the only five-stars in this system that you can even trade for. I'm looking at everybody, and I just don't think there's a move I want to make anymore um, besides... Um... Huh. Huh. What if I move Gordon Hayward for Chris Middleton? All right, so I may have given up a lot, but I gave up Brandon Ingram and Gordon Hayward for Chris Middleton. I didn't want to show all these trades that I did to get to Brandon Ingram, but this is basically what I did. I kept trading for, like, first-round picks and stuff. I just signed a few free agents, and, um, yeah, I was able to flip them all. And I eventually got De'Aaron Fox for Clint Capella, which was just ridiculous. And then I flipped De'Aaron Fox for Brandon Ingram. Well, De'Aaron Fox and Bobby for Brandon Ingram. And then I traded Gorn Hayward and Brandon Ingram for Chris Middleton. But system proficiency is still four star, so it's completely useless doing that. Here, I will see. So pass. Oh my gosh, Pascal's is higher. So there's no point. So we can start Pascal then. Okay. This actually works out perfectly. Okay, so this team actually worked out really well now. Coach game plan. We're going to have to rebuild rotation. Jamal Murray, though, is still not starting over Jalen Brown. 
give those minutes to Jalen Brown. Starting lineup is now fantastic. Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Chris Middleton, Pascal, and Bam Adebayo. Then we have John Collins, Jamal Murray, Tobias Harris, and there's not to- Murray off the bench. This is actually an excellent team now. This is fantastic. System proficiency-wise, we are four stars still. We're not going to be able to get the five stars unless we had Jokic, LeBron. That's the only way we would be able to get up there. Um, this is what everybody's looking like. Jalen Brown, Kemba Walker are both five stars. Then Chris Milton and Dejounte Murray are both four and a half stars in the system. And then everybody else is four stars except John Collins is three and a half stars. And there's no, there's no other, there's no four star system proficiency rated player for balance who's not a superstar. So everybody, any upgrade from John Collins would be impossible because they're all untouchable so this is what the team's going to look like the records we are trying to beat are 63 wins in the regular season we're trying to go do better than 16 and 5 in the playoffs so basically that's just we want to lose less games than five and then also win the championship if we don't win the championship both those are fails but hopefully hopefully we beat uh them in number category so with that being said i'm going to simulate the season all right, so this team did beat the regular season record. They did go 68-14. and 14. So we beat the record by five games, and I was really not thinking we were going to because we kind of struggled in the first three, four weeks, but then we really picked up steam going on maybe like five weeks in a row without getting a loss. But these are what the awards are looking like. Wow, De'Aaron Fox, sixth man of the year. We had him. Now we didn't. Uh, Giannis wins defensive player of the year. We do win coach of the year, of course. We are the Rockets, so let's see, do we have anybody? We don't have anybody on an all-NBA team, and we have no defensive players, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, yeah, this is what the playoffs are looking like. Uh, let's go to season, or standings. We were only six games better than the Kings. Who do they have? They have Ben Simmons, Zach Levine, Paul Millsap, Nurkic. Is Ben Simmons just like the greatest 2K player or something? Because our team's way better than them. This team's way better than them. Our bench is crazy. Our bench goes crazy. Look at our 10th man as an 80 overall. <laughs> but that's what that's looking like. So no one else was even close besides them. Which was lit. Points for games go, though. We were way ahead of everybody. Defensively, we were pretty good. Top five. And then point differential shows that we were significantly more dominant, scoring seven more, or like the point differential in a game was seven and a half points greater than the Kings. So I think it goes to show that we were more dominant than what our record says, or like they weren't as good as what their record says, or just like, you know what I'm trying to say, shut up. Um, Season stats, let's look at player stats. So it looks like it was just a well-rounded team. Kemba Walker, highest score at 20 points a game. Chris Middleton, 19. Jalen Brown at 16. Jamal Murray at 16. So did so Monte Morris didn't even get it. Didn't oh Muska. Why is Muska like eight minutes? Rebounds again. Every okay, so everything's just well-rounded. This is all just well-rounded team play. Fantastic. Um shooting wise, we were pretty good. That's pretty good. DeJounte Murray shot fantastic, actually. Holy crap, DeJounte Murray. So that's what all the stats and season standings were looking like. We did get one of our goals of beating the regular season record. Let's see if we can beat the 16 and 5 in the playoffs. We're down 0-2 to Golden State. Oh my gosh. We're up by a lot in the first. We're up by a We're not up by a lot anymore. Oh my gosh. No way, bro. Okay, we're up by a lot. We're going to win this game. Holy crap, bro. We can only win. We can only lose three more games to tie it. Oh man, I'm going to simulate. Okay, so we're blowing them out in this game. Still blowing them out. We're blowing them out. Still blowing them out. 
Yeah, we blew him out in that game. Kemba Walker is just our dude. Um, holy crap, bro. That's what our offense can do. Uh, second quarter, not as good. It's a close game. It's a very close game. This is a very important game three that we need to win, and we are going to win. Wow. We uh we almost let them come back. Who does this team even have? Chris Tops? Homie, this team is trash. This team is trash. Their best player is Chris Tops. Their next best player is Dante DiVincenzo. They should not have taken two games from us. We're just going to simulate round. We beat them four, we, in six games? In six games, bro? No chance, bro. Uh, we got the Lakers in this round. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1, 4 So, if we want to beat our previous record, we can only lose one more game. Uh, simulate round. We have Portland in this series. We got Mike Conley, but he healed. Michael Porter, AD. Okay, so they have AD, who I really wanted. But other than that, they have no one else. We're up 2-1, 3-1, 4-2. So, we beat them in six. We have the Hornets up next. Let's look at closeout game. AD dropped a bunch on us, but Kemba Walker. Yeah, again, an all-rounded good game. You guys know what's up with this roster. So if we want to beat the previous record of 16-5 we did with pace and space, then we need to sweep. We need to sweep the Hornets. Um, did I look at who they had? They have Luka and Andrew Wiggins and Mitchell Robinson and Chris Boucher. This is definitely a solid team, but I think there's definitely a possibility we can just 4-0 them. No! We 4-1 them. They won game four, was it? Kemba Walker is your finals MVP at 24 points. Yeah, that's what's up. So it's kind of disappointing. i um, going to write that down. We go 68 and 14. Regular, I guess this was this was just a regular season team, man. Uh, we go sixteen and six in the playoffs, so not significantly worse. It's only uh, we only got one more loss with this team, and we did win a championship. But I thought there was really good potential. I really liked this team because it was just a well-rounded team. We didn't really have any. Shoot, we didn't, we did not have a superstar. Our best player was a ninety overall in Pascal and Kemba. But we just had really, really, really good players. So, wait. What was Tobias doing? Okay, so Tobias was getting... Okay, he was our seventh man. So, was a little bit sad. We would have been cool if we tied the record, but... I'm going to have another one of these videos, maybe tomorrow, maybe in two days. I don't really know. Um, it's going to be soon, though. Um... I don't know which system proficiency or system I'm gonna do. I basically just picked balance right before I started this video. So I'm feeling maybe grit and grind or perimeter centric, but some teams are just way easier to build around too. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'll see. There's not too many people for a grit and grind system type, so it might be difficult to rebuild to build that team, but I'll see what I wanna do. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.